Last time we saw how we can protect the home page from the user accessing it if the user is not logged in and also the other views by using the login required decorator. So in this one we're going to be seeing how we can protect now the reverse, the login page if the user is logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. So if I log in, you see that we are logged in. But if I want to slash auth slash login, Notice that I'm able to access this page even when I'm logged in. So we shouldn't be able to access this page when we are logged in. Similarly for the register page, but you see that now our application allows it. So what I want to do now is I want to be able to protect these pages also from the user accessing them when the user is already logged in. So how do we do that? So you will think that there might be a decorator called something like logout required. And I just want to mention that it's not there but what is there is something called user passes test. So this user passes test is basically a utility that we can use to create a custom decorator that we can maybe wrap on the view for the login and register to prevent them from being accessed. So I'm gonna go to our helpers. So you know we have a folder called helpers. So helpers here. Then I'm going to have a decorators the py file so here we are going to create a decorator now to create a decorator we are going to use user passes test utility so we're going to say from django dot contrib dot auth decorators import user passes test so here let's create our own decorator so it's going to be a function of course so this function we are going to call it user should not access. Remember we are going to be wrapping it, wrapping it on a view function. So here it's going to be taking in that view function. So we can say view func. So it makes sense. So down here we basically want to check this view func and decorate it with some more functionality. So what I want to do now is I want to create a variable here called user logout required. Then this is going to be equal to user passes test. So user passes test takes in three things. This is the test func, the login URL, and also the redirect field name. So we need to have a function that returns a true or a false. That will be the test func. So what I want to do now is I'm going to say here, check user. So I'm going to call this function check user. Then the second parameter is the login URL. So the login URL is where we want them to go if this returns false. So we want them to go to the default route, okay? Then the next one is gonna be the, the redirect field name. So remember with Django, every time we try to access, let's say, homepage and we are not logged in, it redirects us and then gives us the next parameter. So for us right now, I'm going to leave it here, then I'm gonna show you how to fix it. But we want to work with this function. We need, we need to create this function and work with it. So this one gets, so this one gets called with the user. So now here we can check if user is is authenticated so is underscore authenticated then we want to return false because we don't want them to log in we don't want them to access that view when they are authenticated so otherwise we return false like this and by the way we can just return not so we can say return here not user dot is authenticated okay and this should not be a function so we can just return this and that's gonna do so here what we want is basically we want to to call this and pass it this view func so we can say return let's call it and now we can pass it the this view func here and uh, what's gonna do is it's gonna call user passes test so the value that gets returned here is what will affect the behavior of our view so we're gonna go to views.py for the authentication. So we're gonna go to auth views py. Then for the login, we want to say they need to be authenticated. So we called we called our decorator. Let's check it out. We called it user auth user should not access. So that's what we want to use. So we're gonna go to the views and do this. Of course, we need to import it. So we're gonna go here. Same thing for the register, we don't want to access it when we are logged in. So here we need to put that decorator. So from helpers dot decorators 
import user should not access so if you save this and come back over here refresh you see that we are brought to the login page now you will see that here we have this next parameter but we really don't want it so if we want to make the login let's go to auth login you see we are brought back here but there is this next and we don't want it so what you can do is we can come back to our decorator so for the third parameter here like we said instead of passing the redirect field name like next or whatever now we, are, we can pass none here okay so if we come back refresh so let's go here let's now try to access the login so we can say auth login or register you see we are brought here and things are good so that's how we solve that problem i pretty much believe that with this you can create any custom decorator you want using the power of user passes test okay so that's gonna do it for now if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video bye